what we find is people try to be creative. They try to find uh, corners to cut, shortcuts. How do I make this installation shorter? Right, and you see in the manual, and the manuals never really tell you why you need to do something, they just tell you what you need to do. And so, unfortunately, people assume that because the why is not told, they're gonna get creative. And so a lot of people will put a battery monitor and they'll take the voltage right at the panel, thinking, oh, well, there's voltage there, why would I go all the way to the batteries? But then what happens is, if you ever lose, uh, the switch gets turned off, now the battery monitor comes off, it's not powered anymore because the source of power is probably coming from the panel too. So now all your settings are lost. Or what happens if the fuse feeding the panel actually blows? Now you go to the battery monitor and when it's time to diagnostic, you're gonna go, oh, my batteries are dead. It's not that the batteries are dead, it's that the voltage sense at the panel is dead. So if you actually sense voltage at the battery, you know what's happening at the battery. What happens downstream of the battery is separate and it allows for better troubleshooting. So what I always tell people, anybody that's going to tackle a, a battery monitor or anything else is follow the instructions to the letter. Never think you're smarter than the engineers who told you what to do unless you're an absolute expert and you understand all the implications of your decision. So voltage sense and power should be at the battery, fused, but directly at the battery.